hi guys you are welcome to my channel today we'll be looking at how we can trade gold on the lower time frames but before we go to the lower time frames uh we are going to look at what has happened on the higher time frame and looking at the pivot analysis for gold uh, we have the uh, resistance at 2336.97 we have the pivot line at 2309.29 and we have the support the first support line at 2290.40 currently of the daily time frame uh, the, today's candle is uh, bearish and has dropped price has dropped below the pivot line uh, we might like recent price drop as low as key 290 uh, where we have the first support but if price uh, decides to go back up above the p uh, pivot line we might see price touching the first resistance at 2336.97 but for now uh, around here we can already see that uh, price has formed the top Price has formed the top on the daily time frame, and we might likely see price drop further. Uh, looking at the monthly time frame, uh, the monthly time frame shows that price is still bullish, uh, but we have this pin bar, the bullish pin bar, and we might likely see price go back to the high, uh, the high, the uh, all-time high at uh, two. For 31.4 level, but if price is unable to go up on the monthly time frame, we might see price dropping as low as this, this particular other block around here, which is 2053 level. That's for the monthly time frame. The overall direction is still bullish. Still bullish on the monthly time frame. Time frame. On the weekly time frame, uh, we can see price has formed the top. We have this evening star candlestick pattern showing that price has formed the, uh, a top and price might retrace further. But we have this other block at 2173. Uh, price might get, get to this level and then possibly start to get buyers and start to go up. Uh, the direction of the, of the weekly time frame is also bullish. Uh, looking at the ascending trend line, the respected around here. You might see price dropping to test the ascending trend line at this particular uh, demand order block level. Uh, the daily time frame has been because price is currently has formed the top, at the top, and price is already uh, ranging at this particular order block. The next uh, available order block where price might find buyers at the 2178 level price might possibly find buyers at that particular point but for now this particular ascending trend line on the daily time frame has been bro broken and retested got broken got retested and price is dropping so we have a high we have a low lower high we have lower low price might likely drop further but if price does not drop, we have this other block around here where sellers will be hanging around. I'm talking about the 2384.33 level. Price might find sellers around here at the supply order block. On the four hour time frame, uh, what we can see is price is ranging downwards. Price currently ranging downwards. Uh, the buyers are trying to push price up, but uh, price is being met with a force. Okay, we have a resistance around here. We have another resistance around here. Let me remove this. Uh, this the closest resistance price. We have another resistance around here, and we have another one around here. So the buyers need to break. The two three two eight level, the two three five one level, and the two four zero one level for price to continue to go up. But for now, uh, price is 
ranging and the likely direction might be downwards so if you look below this support i'm talking about the uh, 2267 support we take price to another support level so at the 2228 level then we have the 217 we we have the another support level 2156 but for now price is ranging on the four hour time frame uh, there's a particular order block around here that is respected a break below this structure i'm talking about the 2279 structure will take price to the next order block at uh 2243 on the one hour time frame what do we have it clearly shows that we have a high a low lower high lower low lower high lower low now we have what we are looking at is a lower high the price is likely to drop some more so if price drops we have this support around here talking about the um the 2281 support level so the structural structural level a break below the structural level the two a break below the 2281 level will take price further downwards for us to establish another structure but for now but the sellers seems to be in control and the sellers are pushing price but price unable to break this initial high and that's a source of concern to the price to the buyer you can see the sellers are pushing price further down so it's best to look for selling opportunities uh, today uh, on the 30 minutes time frame See the sellers are pushing price uh, lower. We have this particular other block. Price almost at the other block, the 2300 psychological level. Price almost at that level. And price might likely break below that level. We also have another level, 2291. And then we have this particular level, 2286. So we have 2300, 2291, 2286. These are levels that sellers might need to break for price to drop we also have another level 2315 uh, level on the 15 minutes time frame sellers are currently in control so you might look at selling uh, gold for if, if you're selling gold we have this other block 2300 price might get to this level and bounce a bit before dropping Order. on the five minutes time frame uh the price of gold is bearish we have this left shoulder head right shoulder or a triple top and price is dropping as it is so in as much as this trend line is respected continue to look to sell the price of gold all right that's that for today's uh, video on how to scalp or trade gold on the smaller time frames uh till i come your way tomorrow it's bye for now